everyone welcome to the becky effect i just want to thank you all for liking um commenting and subscribing on the last two videos today i'm going to talk about how to stop hearing what people think um and stop proving yourself because you don't have to um i hope that this video is helpful and if you like it please subscribe if any of it resonates with you just press the like button <laughs> And if you think that someone may need this, please share it with them. Because the more that you like is the more that it will get to the right people who need the stuff that I'm going to be talking about. Because I'm going to get into some really heavy stuff. Like the next few videos are going to be quite intense. <laughs> so please share my videos and make sure that you show me some love. Even if you say, yeah, yeah, Becky. <laughs> that you're feeling what I'm doing. Thank you. All right, so I'm gonna start off with three scriptures, yeah? And I'm only gonna say these three scriptures at the start because again, I'm not a pastor and I'm not trying to be a preacher. Like, I'm just sharing the truth. I'm trying to get the right things to you for our love. So I hope that you catch the love and you receive it in a positive way. John 1, 12, it says, Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believe in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. So with that scripture, it's like, basically, if you believe in God, yeah, he's basically going to show you who you are because you have him. Like, if you have him, then you know who you are. And that's like, amazing, yeah? And that is in John 1.12. So don't ever get twisted. Like, no one can tell you who you are but God. <laughs> yeah? Colossians 2, 9, verse 9 to 10. It says in verse 9, for Christ in all the fullness of his di deity lives in a bodily form. Verse 10 says, and in Christ you have been brought to the fullness. He is the head over every power and authority. In him you are full because he's full. If you have him and you believe him, you believe all he is and what he says about you, you're full. You're full of everything. Your cup is full and it overflows. He is the head over everything. So whatever he says goes. When he says, let there be light, there's light. If God is saying to you that I believe that you're, you're a scientist and you're going to do some amazing things in the world, or he says to you that you are smart, you're intelligent, you can be anything through Christ. Yeah? That's what you are, right? So if anyone says to you, oh, you can't do this and you're that and you care what they think you need to think again back to the scripture the colossians 2 9 to 10 that he has authority over everything don't go <laughs> i'm just giving my perceptions and i could be perceiving this not in the same way as you these scriptures but i'm just sharing again i'm just putting up when you were dead in your sins and in the circumcision of flesh god made you alive with christ he forgave our sins so you're forgiven so not only are you basically brought to fullness because of Christ, yeah, in Colossians 2, 9, 10, you're also made to be alive. So you're alive, you're, you're amazing, you're great, you're wonderfully and, you know, fearfully made. So anything that you are right now is, is perfect. You're, per you're actually made perfect like everything about you is perfect there's things in you that you may see that need to change but that's fine because you are being perfected through christ you're perfect okay now i've, I've said that we're gonna get into the video just based off what i've just read One. okay so remember those as i go through the next stage do you know who you are if you don't know who you are then maybe it's time you found out and that is again through those three scriptures just read those over again cut them down break them up find out what he's saying about you go to the bible find out what the bible says about. don't depend on second hand um, word find out you know your identity is is great your identity is profound your identity is purpose it's purpose for greatness you know you're part of the the priesthood of God. Like for me, I know my identity. I come from two people that love God who both have different skill sets, but I've noticed that their skill sets have added to who I am. Like I have my mum who's such a great nurturer. She's a great singer and she's so she's just full of love. 
and then my dad he is just loves the word like he's just amazing you know in his word and when I look look at my dad I'm like wow like you're actually a really strong person like you're actually really like focused you know my mum she's really creative like and I feel like that's what makes me me that's what I'm saying like if you don't know who you are find out who you are like it might not be through your parents it might be through um, uh, circumstances that you've gone through that have made you understand your identity that's that's how you know who you are before anyone gives you an opinion of who you are it's, it's of you what do you think of yourself who are you what is your identity you have to ask yourself these things before you start taking on what other people say number two you have to really ask yourself in what they think of me does it matter if they're thinking the worst of you and you know you've done good, you have to say to yourself, does, this, does what they think of me matter? So, just as an example, um, who does she think she is? That she, she shouldn't be doing that. And I did it anyway because I was like, I want to do it. <laughs> I want to try that. I want to not limit myself. <laughs> so, what they think, is it is it a distraction? Does, is, it, is it something that I need to care about? Are they adding to who I am or no? So yeah, if it matters, that's just, that's something that you really have to say to yourself. Is this somebody that I aspire to be? Is this somebody that I'm trying not to be like? Make your decision from there. And again, go back to those three scriptures that I said at the beginning. Number three is to choose whether this like information this criticism or this their attitude towards you is it resonating with your spirit like have you got like is this something that you believe yourself like if they're saying to others this um guy or this woman she's just like who why who does she think she is like she's just this is an example by the way she thinks that she's smart like she's not smart like where does she think she's going like why does she why is she trying to fix everything she can't fix and everything but really and truly the lord has put in your heart that you need to fix it and build the wall See, like i said in the video in regards to stress is that don't let other people's opinions like stress you don't let somebody who's not doing anything opinion stress you again it comes back to confirmation it's some you know turning things and yeah turning negative inputs we'll get to that number four is to learn to refer to yourself when you're writing an essay if you you're in if you're studying it's like you have to go and get quotes to back up what you're saying it's the same things that you maybe have to look in and look at yourself as a book like if someone's referring to you in as a negative statement you have to maybe go and check your archives check your book your self book you you are all the things that you've gone through the things that God has told you that you are, the things that you you know, the things that you're going towards, and you have to check that archive sometimes. So maybe sometimes, you know, to, to to see that okay, they're saying this about me, but like, what am I saying about me? Like, you don't have to go and talk to no one else. You just you can check with yourself. Like, am I smart? Yes. Can I do? Can I edit? Yes. In terms of like yourself, like you have to ask yourself through the book of who you are. Is this right? Okay, let me just check. Okay, over here it says this and that. And then just move from there. Like, give yourself like maybe two minutes to just figure it out. Like, <laughs> oh, okay, that's not the truth. Or maybe that is the truth. Oh, maybe I can improve even more on this bit. You know what I mean? Just refer to yourself. Don't refer to anyone else. Don't compare yourself to because that person's doing that and I'm not doing that yet come on refer to the book of yourself number five is to seek confirmation from the Lord I, I personally believe through facts and the Holy Spirit that in order to to even care what someone thinks or says about you you have to check your heart to see if there's any like ego in there before you decide whether you need to like to prove them wrong or not prove them wrong is to check your heart to see if you need heart surgery spiritual heart surgery and i'm saying that in in forms of like 
if you've got pride or if they got pride and then just keep it moving like whatever conclusion you come to is but again you have to refer back to seeking confirmation from the lord praying and fasting and saying lord why why is this or do i need to care about this it's a very it's a tough one to to if i'm honest to not care what people think because some if you if you care what too much then it's almost like mental illness and then if you don't care at all then it's like you're cold find arts and god for confirmation to let you know whether you've got balance or not in in the way you're handling the reception that you're getting number six would be are they paying your bills like i'm gonna be honest with you a lot of the time we care from a lot of situations and then we have to ask is this person my manager are they gonna send me a paycheck is this person my pastor or someone spiritual that's gonna pray these demons away or life into a better place you know is, is, is it paying my bills is it paying my spiritual and physical bills no yes like once you know one of those then you, you can decide whether you wouldn't care what people think or not because I had a friend here and like this girl yeah she oh my god she taught me that yeah that like becky why do you care does it is it paying your bills and when i swear as soon as she said that to me it's like my life has changed number seven is speak to a trustworthy friend or if you can't find a friend you need to pray um just an example i had someone tell me something about me that was not true i knew it wasn't true but then i thought am i being ignorant here am i being prideful here and being like mm, you can't tell me nothing so i cared for what this person said because i felt like they meant something to me they meant they were like a friend that i actually was looking up to like an older friend and they said that they think that i'm lazy and i was like wow you don't you don't really see what i'm up to behind closed doors and that's your opinion and so I just went into like ask a friend that I know knows me, that sees me quite a lot. I just wanted to ask them, you know, like I really look up to this person. I, I like what they're doing. I don't really see them that much, but I do like their their personality. Um, when I've been around them, and they said this to me, and um, my friend she told me, Becky, I think that's like a lie. Like I know you, you're just always busy everyone knows even at church they're like you're doing too much like and I was just because I was like am I kind of thing you know and then I realized it wasn't that I knew what they were saying wasn't true after speaking with my trustworthy genuine friend I just generally was just so like bothered because I wanted to prove myself to the person who is not paying my bills who to be honest doesn't really know my ins and outs of life they just have like a they just see the surface they don't know the book and i was told by this person that people prefer to look on the, the outside of the book rather than the inside of the book they some people would prefer to ask because i said to them because uh, they said oh no it's the cover the cover so they're basically saying that like the way i am is just not like the way i present myself is not and I said to them, have you read the blurb? And they said they haven't got time for that. <laughs> I don't really care what you think. It went from me caring what they think and trying to prove myself to them to realising that this person meant me no good. So I'm just saying that basically to say that sometimes you have to test um, the spirit because sometimes we're putting too much emphasis into somebody who is not doesn't even really know us or <coughs> are irrelevant to who we are what we're doing what we, we're becoming they're more married to what they see on the surface basically again they're speaking to a friend to confirm if you really care what someone thinks it's true right but it's like sometimes you just have to stop trying to prove yourself and just live Number eight is instead of caring what people think and trying to prove yourself, just turn more light, turn your light up more, turn your light of consciousness up all the way. Learn more, read more, mind your business more, 
stay around people that actually know you more and have enjoy your life. Um, don't be prideful and get some spiritual heart surgery. And that's what I'm going through right now. I'm, it's, it's, you know, like I said to you guys earlier, I'm going through a debris. Like I'm, the debris there, you know, it's getting gutted out. Are you happy? Um, yeah, I'm happy. Maybe I could be happier. Just, just turn the light up. <laughs> Number nine is just ask yourself if those people are relevant to your life. Like, is what you're doing and it's affecting them so much? Is it? Are they relevant to where you're going? Are they? Are they where you wanna be? And ask just give yourself again two minutes and then just move on. Number 10, um, this is my final tip. I like to keep to number 10. I like 10 because it just feels that balance. <laughs> Switch all your negative inputs and turn them into outputs. So whatever negative energies you're getting from people, I always say this, and I'm gonna do a video on it, it's called PYE, which means protect your energy, is you know that you're getting bad energy or bad, bad fake criticism and or it could even be positive criticism but it's still kind of like you're caring about it because we do care like everyone that says they don't care they do care and if they don't care then I don't know <laughs> um, but yeah taking everything that's been thrown at you um, in terms of making you care what people think turn it into like positives like I got my EP um, I had no one helping me and people said no I'm not helping you like you're not serious then I found someone I worked with who helped me I went and found someone else because the person that I was working with let me down because of negative inputs and yeah sometimes the negative inputs are fair I just wanted to say that sorry but I just wanted to say um so I just, I twisted it, I was like, okay, you said no, let me see if they say yes. Other negative inputs of like, you're not strong enough, get stronger. If you feel strong, if someone's saying you're not strong, just get stronger, <laughs> like, if, um, I'm trying to think of stuff that I've done in terms of like, when I care what people think, I would write it down in like a, a book. Today I was told this. All right, tomorrow I'm gonna be this. Or I would just like, just on a vulnerable scale, I would like, if it was really bad and I really cared, I would actually cry. Because I just feel like when you cry, like you just walk your seeds, like, I don't know. If that's like such a like gospel hipster thing to say. But yeah, I just, I'd cry, let it out, you know, put my lipstick, keep it moving. <laughs> 